coming too. You're making fun of my hat right now, aren't you? Knock it off. It's cool. Booney hats are cool. First time I've been up here. I've been meaning to take this trail for a long time. And sometimes you just gotta make time. Unfortunately, for me, the guy that works a nine to five job and has plenty going on at home. Making time pretty much means getting less sleep. And that's what I did this morning. I was up before five, getting dressed, had all my stuff packed, and ready to go the night before. So I could hit this trail as soon as I got up in the morning bright and early. That also means, yes, I'm going to work after this. Wow, that's a view. ruining that shop by putting myself in it. Getting a lot closer to attaining the peak that I set out to hike this morning. According to my GPS, I'm pretty close and I'm going in the right direction. Which is good news because I'm sort of in a little gully here. Surrounded by scrub oak, brush, and so forth. So I can see where the sun is, but other than that I can't really tell what direction I'm going. Anyway, looks like I'm going the right direction. Should attain that peak here pretty soon. If you've done any amount of hiking, you probably know this concept already. But I thought I'd show you a good example of it. Marking your trail. If it's a slightly confusing one, or maybe you just want to be nice for the people that come behind you, or remember your way back, get a little fluorescent ribbon, tie it to a branch, and mark the trail. I didn't put these up here, somebody else did, which is a good sign that I'm on a, oh, the right trail. And after all the bushwhacking I've done to get this far, I didn't record most of that, sorry. It's kind of busy, I don't know, bushwhacking. But uh, actually had to blaze my way some of the time trying to find the right trail. So it's pretty refreshing to get to this point and see markers like these tell me, hey man, you came the right way. You're on the right trail. Well, it took some bushwhacking. It took some lucky guesses. It took some determination. It took a whole lot of calories. But I finally reached my destination. I finally got to the peak that I was shooting for this morning. And yeah, it took me a bit longer than I thought it would. <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna be calling in a little bit late to work. Quick commentary, guys. One thing you might kind of find funny is I'm actually heading down a completely different trail 
from the one I started up on. That's all right though. Um, the area that I'm in, I really don't feel um, a lot of danger in regards to this area as far as getting lost is concerned. I can literally see the city through the trees. So if I have to bush bushwhack my way back to my car or back to help, as long as I'm not seriously injured, I can do that. Also, an interesting thing about where I started off from, there are so many divergent trails, so many little capillaries, let's call them, going each and every way, that it was really difficult to tell, I don't know, what trail I was actually on, if there was any designated trail at all. Which is part of why I bushwhacked my way up to that peak. Now, the trail that I'm on right now is <laughs> marked much, much better, is maintained much better, 100% uh, better than the way I came up. So even if I end up at a different trailhead, have to get a ride back to the previous trailhead, um, this is far more pleasant a hike than what I was doing before. And I really don't want to do all that stuff all over again. I'm serious. I, I had to put the camera away for most of that bushwhacking. I didn't want to damage the camera or injure myself because I was trying to film and bushwhack at the same time. It was that, uh, that hairy. How's that ribs pack treating you, Scout? Dude, so far, this ribs pack is, is getting highest markings for me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna define this thing as indispensable. My buddy Crockett 20 tipped me off to it, obviously. He's probably seen his video by now. I concur with everything he said. I may do a tabletop as well on this, just to give you a little further information. If you're a hiker, an avid hiker, you want something, you want your gear right up front, you know? You could go the fanny pack route, I suppose, if you wanna just keep a couple things up there. But if you wanna keep a robust, collection of supplies with lots of good compartments organization and so forth good strong zippers extreme lightweight um, extremely packable too I mean this thing came in a, a sweet little pouch that you could easily roll this up into stick it inside your um, your overnight pack and then make this this ribs pack your only day pack for doing let's say like a small hike that and maybe like a minimal camelback or something, or just a big bottle of water, whatever. Totally doable as just a short day hike. Again, in a backpacking scenario where you backpack in, camp someplace, and then take a little hike from your camp to a summit, let's say, or to a lake or whatever. Great option for that. Also, for day hike like this one, where I'm keeping a number of supplies in that camelback back there, as well as all my water, I can keep the items that I really want up front, like my gun, like camera, tripod, things like that, snacks, uh, let's see, paracord gloves I had in there, I think I've got gators in there. I've got, uh, I don't know, quite a good number of things in there. A little emergency signaling pack, first aid is in there. Yeah, good amount of uh, good stuff right there. You need it in a pinch. You don't want to have to take your pack off. You can just, if you can just get to these front zippers, I mean, what a luxury, right? More than a luxury, almost essential. That's why I'm giving the ribs front pack right now Pretty much a rating of indispensable. You kind of need it. <laughs>